Some of you have been asking, what's wrong with HP 897? This is Dr. Mary Kay Bakayao for Academic Freedom. I'm going to tell you what is wrong with HP 897. Here is a description of what is happening. Notice that we have the State Board of Education, an appointed group, shall establish, it used to be competencies, but it's not competencies anymore. It's a uniformly sequenced state mandated content standards. You notice that it used to say the State Board shall also establish competencies for which each student should be provided opportunities at the discretion of the student and the student's parents to master that's gone. The discretion of the student and the student's parents is st struck out from the law. It is no longer important. What is added? State mandated content standards. And you notice towards the bottom of the screen you'll see that these standards are not just in reading and writing and math. Now they will include science and social studies. These state mandated content standards that they refer to, otherwise known as Common Core, will be decided not at the local level, but at the state level, with unaccounted, unaccountable, appointed state school board members, not elected. This is why I urge you to vote no. All the representatives in the House of Representatives in our state vote no to HB 897. Citizens contact your representatives. This is done being done at the state level and it needs to stop. I'll give you more information about this bill. This is not the only thing wrong with it. In part two. This has been part one with Dr. Mary Kay Bakayao for Academic Freedom. See you next time.